So first and 10, West Virginia ball at the 25. The give to Mathis, Tony Mathis, the running back in a game of three. This time, Daniels pulls it, goes to the air for the first time, and that's a nice pitch and catch. Caden Prather, 6'4". The pit DBs are going to have to be on it all night. Daniels muffs the snap, composes himself, forced out of the pocket, has a receiver along the sideline, and that's a great play. Quarterback exchange. And really, the timing of the play gets out of whack. Maybe your eyes go into the backfield, but it's a nice job by JT Daniels. Just sneaking out to his left. Ball in pit territory, spotted at the 40. Daniels again to throw, swings it out to Mathis, pits defense right there. In the secondary are going to be the guys who are going to have to make plays in the open field. You see here, JT Daniels gets the ball out to Tony Mathis. Line is the strength of their team as well. Mathis out of the backfield, Daniels to throw over the middle, incomplete. Trips and movements. Full start, offense, number 64, five-yard penalty, full third down. High snap again, ball's on the turf. Tonight. Ball at the 45, second possession for Daniels and the Mountaineers. Clean pocket, Daniels going to take his first shot of the night. Has a receiver, overthrows. Ford, who is 6'3", and then A.J. Woods, really the tallest pit corner. You see the little double move, you see the shoulder, you see him grab the jersey there. They kind of miss that. Really challenge at the catch point. The give to Mathis, nothing doing as the pit defense corrals him. That's James out of the backfield, looking for a block, cuts back. And Pitt's secondary there. And whistles before the snap. It's going to be motion on West Virginia. False start. Offense, number 64, five-yard penalty. Still fourth down. Hey, look, it's personal. It's petty. It's emotional. It's all that, and I love every bit of it. That's Justin Johnson's first carry. The sidelines down Harry with an update on Charles Woods. Matt, we don't have official word on what the injury is. He did have his shoe for Sam James and a gain of three. And again, movement up front from West Virginia. Delay game. Defense, number 95. Here's a quick and abrupt movement, which caused the offense to move. Five-yard penalty with the yardage results and a first down. Penalty yardage makes it a first down, West Virginia, ball at the 37. And that's Johnson squeaking his way up the middle, and he's got a nice gain on first down, tackled by Kamara. I'm going to test him. I'm not going to go away from it, and it's all part of the plan. It's Johnson again trying to get to the right side of the defense, and a big hit. Out here and play in this backyard brawl, third and one for Daniels in West Virginia, and it's a run right up the middle. There goes C.J. Donaldson. Inside the 10-yard line. Let me tell you this, C.J. Donaldson is really a tight end by trade, but look, they said, they alluded to the fact that you're going to see him in the back, you're going to see his ball. He's 6'2", 240 pounds, and he was rolling. Tempo for West Virginia. Bryce Ford Wheaton, answer Mountaineers. Go up and take the ball off the top of the rim. Here's Bryce Ford Wheaton. That's up one-on-one -on -one against A.J. Woods. He, J.T. Daniels recognizes it immediately. Throws a little bit of a back shoulder. That's, no a, that's a great lineup. No exercise. Eat a carb. You'll be good. Ball spotted deep for West Virginia. It's been clean. After the play, personal foul, late hit. Offense, number 64. That's the for the goal. The down counts. Second down. Penalties on Milam. JT out of his own end zone. He's going to take a shot deep to his receiver. Dropped. Pray they're another one of those tall, big, wide receivers that are going to try and win one on ones on the outside. But I can tell you this look, MJ Devonshire. An opportunity now for the Pittsburgh defense. Daniels in his end zone. Flag before the play. The last time this there are two fouls on the play, and they both will be enforced. Prior to the snap, delay game, offense, 
Hafflejens to the goal. After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct, defense number 87 for taunting. 15 yard penalty and an automatic first down. Lewis, you were all over. That is 87's first of the game. Is going to get called here for the hit on Daniels after the win, the taunt. Yeah, that's what you can't do. Look. And West Virginia pinned it there in zone. Now it's at the 16. See if Daniels can take advantage. He's going to take a shot. Bryce Ford Wheaton in and out of his hands. It's about matchups, right? It's about matchups on Sundays in the NFL. It's about matchups on Saturdays. See, they replace him now with Rashad Battle on the outside, who has a little bit more size to match up against the size on the outside. Daniels forced to throw it away. Pitt defensive line has to step up. Daniels again going to take a shot at Bryce Ford Wheaton. DB's all over it. No flags. You play it. That's how you stay in the pocket. You don't turn and look for it. Well, if you can turn and look for the football if you're in phase. Making a big play, giving JT Daniels the ball back once again. Let's see if Graham Harrell takes a shot. No, it's Garrett Green, the second quarterback for West Virginia. C.J. Donaldson saw him break off the big play earlier back in the backfield. Second and five, the fake to Donaldson. Quick out to three, Caden Prather. And a great job, balls out again. Does Pittsburgh get it back? I think they do. They do. And the talented safety, Eric Hallett, that comes up with it. You see Mark West Williams, you see him take on the block and get the ball out. That's a fantastic play by the 5'9", 180-pound corner. And then when you're running to the football, that's what you do. You got to scoop and score. Ball just shy of the 20. Quick out of the backfield. Pitts defense all over it along the defensive line and they rotate a lot of players and here you're going to see John Morgan you see him get out here on the perimeter and make the play against Mathis crowd starting to come alive the give to Mathis off the left side initially makes a tackler miss they do not want to give Pitt the ball back with the way their offense is rolling and the fact that they're going to get the ball in the second half as well Daniels pressured balls up for grabs and it's caught Oh, Bryce my goodness. Lewis, what a you play just, this was. I mean, you just see the pressure. You see Alexander on some kind of rap stunt coming back inside. And JT Daniels is lucky to get the ball off at all. And there you just see Bryce Ford Wheaton again. 26 starts for Alexander. John Morgan comes in the game. Remarkable first down for West Virginia. Still two timeouts. 208 pressure. JT gets it off to Bryce Ford Wheaton. And another big play for zero. Pitt is getting there after him. That was Servasier Dennis that hit him right there. Pressure again. Daniels again escapes. And that pass falls short. Be on him is going to be on his ability to make good decisions. You see right there, John Morgan, perfect pass rush, just lost his footing at the end. Turned into an energy drink. Minute 48 here, second quarter. Second and 10, handoff to Mathis. Mathis space, Mathis first down. Immediately. Pat Narduzzi calls a timeout thinking they're going to get the ball back. And now West Virginia is on the move. Mathis corralled, brought for a tackle for loss. So far, it's defined what makes college football beautiful. Second and 15, Johnson motion out of the backfield. JT's going to go to him. He's open on the side and a gain of five. So then they've been having some success, some success on Wyatt Milam. Trips up top. Caden Prather, the reception. Prather makes a man miss down the sideline. It can be six in a hurry with the speed and size West Virginia has. Plenty of time for Daniels in the offense. Johnson in the backfield. That's where JT goes. They can make the, make the big plays with the ball in their hands. Ball at the 10. Johnson stutter steps his way to the right to no avail. Just over 30 seconds left in the half. Pitt showing pressure. Daniels to throw across the middle. And now they're going to have to take that timeout. Daniels has the ball inside the five. The give to C.J. Donaldson, the big freshman, trying to muscle his way into the end zone. And how about that for the Mountaineers? See him at running back. But he's a tight end. You'll see him at running back. And this is why. That is a big man. One, two, three, four pit defenders. That's exactly what this is going to be.
here tonight. You were down 31 to 9. Incredible. This one's 17 to 10. Here comes the pressure on Daniels. Ball is out. John Morgan got back there for the injured Desland Alexander. So John Morgan is just absolutely terrorizing West Virginia right now. On the left side of their offensive line is having all kinds of problems trying to make sure that the pass rush is coming off the edge to get a score or get your offense set up. But the pass rush has come. False start. False start. Offense. offense. Number 53. Half the distance to the goal. Still second down. These kind of situations because of the playmakers they have on the edge. A run right up the middle and a good job. Remember last time, personal foul gave West Virginia the first down. Pressure again and again, JT Daniels stays in the pocket. That's Sam James. Battle who fell down in his coverage on Sam James and gives up the big play. And they have made some big time plays. Second and 10 now for Daniels. Coming on a little slip screen there. Who's gonna be the first team to show it is Daniels on third and long. It's incomplete. 95 thing I like about no preseason. Yeah, you throw exactly. the ball out there, just play. First and 10 ball at the 16 for Daniels. Quick throw off the pressure, drops. Look, Randy Bates has said, I am about to heat JT Daniels up. Look, man, he can't continue to make these kind of plays because Pittsburgh is not going to let up on their attack on JT Daniels. Second and 10. The give to C.J. Donaldson, who's had a nice game. Game, no gain. On a big play here in the third quarter, tied at 17. Daniels sets his feet over the middle. A lot of different corners into this football game. You see him there with the inside stab, and then come back on the slant. The lead, 342 in the third quarter. The 105th edition of the backyard brawl has been everything and more. That's Mathis on first down. He got six yards, but he had to earn it. Callet, they will put it on you. And I believe this was Brandon Hill who came in here. And you're going to see the hit right there. Second and four. And now West Virginia going to the ground game. Daniels. Bryce Ford Wheaton over the middle. That's a first down lined up against Rashad Bannon. You got a flag on the play. Matt Austin, are we headed for our first targeting call of the game? I hit him in the back, on the shoulder. And this is going to be a close one. It depends on where the contact occurs. It's and definitely not foul. a factor, but where did the targeting contact take place? Defense number nine. The previous play is under review for targeting. You see After how his helmet review, goes. There is no targeting. Number nine, there we go. Yeah. In the game. The result of play was a first down. First and ten, West Virginia. Tell you what, Grant Harrell's gone to the ground with Mathis. CJ Donaldson has gone off a few times. Maybe they need to get number 12 back in the game. Another run for Mathis. Tries to spin out of a tackle. Can't do it. Daniels taking a shot. Flag on the play. They had substitution. Defense. 12th player to knock it off the field. Five yard penalty. Still third down. In terms of one on one matchup. Ford Wheaton, 11 targets on the night. They're going to stay on the ground with Mathis, and that's going to be close. Under a minute in the third quarter. They got Big Boy back in the game. I mean, they found something with the running game, and they found something with C.J. Donaldson. This kid is special. Two flags on the play. Graham Harrell was thinking the same thing I was thinking. We got to get him back in the game, man. You see him running that inside zone. It's a little sift block coming across the formation. The run, personal foul, face mask, defense number nine. 15-yard penalty and an automatic first down. 44-yard run. Then he blocks the punt to set up another touchdown. This kid can play football. Daniels out of the pocket. Let's go. Here comes JT Daniels. He's going to take a shot at the end zone. And what do you know?
Bryce Ford Wheaton. Flat out stud, and they know it. He has 12 targets in this game. They're going to run these back shoulder jump ball situations, and then they're going to say, Graham Harrell said, I need more out of my wideouts. Well, he's going to be very happy when he watches the film ball on Bryce Ford Wheaton. And again, West Virginia having guy. success on the run. It is C.J. Donaldson, the true freshman. For his backyard brawl, go look at number 12. Yeah, I think here you see Bengali Kamara. His run fit was not what it needed to be. Vasya Dennis go up to him after the play. You miss a gap against him, he's going to take it the distance. J.T. looks downfield. That's doing work, man. That's exactly what you want out of the young freshman. He's going to pull it from Mathis. JT, good shot. Sam James, the catch, stays in bounds. Actually, they're going to mark him out shy of the first down. Start becoming a factor. Both teams have rotated a lot of players in here. There goes Mathis. Mathis makes a man miss. Gets a block. Mathis was able to do in the previous play. I mean, you just see it here. He hands it off. You see Talon Deer coming downhill. You got to make that tackle. It's one on one in the hole. Yeah, the running back on hill out of their quarters coverage scheme. You miss tackles on these guys, they'll make you pay. JT under center. Quarterback Snake. They give him the touchdown. West Virginia regains the lead. Look, we're just going to see the surge at the line of scrimmage. JT Daniels just looking for a way to get the tip of the football to break the plane of the goal line. All the, uh, the hidden things that make defensive linemen great and the obvious things, they're going to play a big role down the stretch as well. Last two possessions for West Virginia have been touchdowns. That incomplete. For Graham Harrell, you have to be very happy. Second and ten after the incomplete pass. Go back to the run and Mathis and a good job by Pitt's defense. There's During more the big run, plays left. Personal foul, illegal block below the waist. Defense number 14. 15 yard penalty from the previous spot and an automatic first down. What the officials were talking about, but they did change the rules on blocking below the waist. So first and ten now for West Virginia. Basically puts that penalty yardage back off the punt. Daniels forced to climb the pocket. Does a nice job finding James over the middle. Mathis off the left side. And that's a good gain on second down. Teen against Boston College. They're up at 187 now. Is this air raid offense in West Virginia? That means playing some power football, I'll do that. Throwing it all over the yard, I'll do that. My you, job is to help them win. You had talked about getting off the field on third down. That was Donaldson, and he's going to be marked short. So the biggest play thus far, fourth and inches. They were going to see if Pittsburgh would jump. Get the delay a game. Delay a game. Offense, five yard penalty. Still fourth down. Two timeouts for the Mountaineers. Pressure. That's Donaldson. And a big game for Donaldson continues. Chased out of bounds. Because he's going to be getting fed a lot. Daniel's going to throw on first down, goes to the sidelines, has a man wide open, it's tipped, it picked off! MJ Devonshire, he's got base, he's going to take it to the end zone, Pittsburgh takes the lead! You have got to be kidding me! Bryce Ford, Wheaton, what a remarkable game he's had. Wide open. And just can't come up with it. Run after the catch. Once you catch it, turn into an offensive player and take it to the house, young man. Take it to the house. He's got tremendous speed. That's excellent technique. Be on the spot. Make sure you catch the football. Now go. That's what, the, again, that's what this game is all about. Back and forth. Emotional swing. West Virginia, two timeouts, down a touchdown. JT Daniels, first down, quick screen, quick throw. Bryce Ford Wheaton. Can you make somebody miss in the open field? And take it the distance. A penalty there. Prior to the snap, false start. Offense, number 66, five-yard penalty. Still second down. 
a tough spot for an offensive lineman. Second and six. They're going to ride the running game, and Mathis going to be brought down after a gain of one. Daniels looks one way, goes back across the middle, and it's caught. And a flag is down. That's Bryce Ford Wheaton on the reception. You can see Bryce Ford Wheaton here running a little under route. You, hear, you see Servassier coming. Servassier hits him with his. And is that on Devonshire or is that on they looking at Dennis? I think they're looking at Dennis. You see contact made with the head, although it wasn't made with the crown of the helmet. It's made with the top of the shoulder pad and forearm. Personal but it's foul, a... targeting defense number seven. The previous play is under review for targeting. After further review, there is no targeting. Third down. Standing on the sidelines, wants to get back in. He's out for this play. Daniels. Up field to James, and they're going to throw a flag. Pass interference. Defense number 14. 50-yard penalty and automatic. First down. Yeah, that, that's that's clear that that's pass interference. You can just see Williams running right here. He's in phase with him. The underthrown football. It's the hardest throw to defend. Ball in pit territory. Down seven. And another false start for West Virginia. False start. Offense. Number 66. Five-yard penalty. Still first down. You have a one-score lead. You know they're going to throw the football. You got to go. Daniels out of the pocket, keeps his eyes downfield, takes a shot. His tight end broke from coverage. That's Mike O'Laughlin in a big first down, West Virginia. He's able to buy time getting out on the perimeter. That's when, as a defensive back, you have to plaster. Sacked. Look, 9.5 tackles for a loss a year ago. Led the team in tackles, all ACC. Second team, all ACC. You see him there. Daniels over the middle, caught. Pressure! They didn't rule him down. JT Daniels stayed up. He has not slowed down at all the entire game. You see him running a little TE stunt. Tackle picks for him. He comes looping back inside. Here you see him coming down the A-gaps, right down over the center. Takes a shot. Was that caught? That was Reed he... Smith. They called that a catch. Yeah, that's on the ground. This is absolute mayhem here in Pittsburgh. The ruling on the field was a catch. The previous play is under further review. That ball's moving. Matt Austin. It's coming down to this call right here. His hand under it? No. The ball's yeah. moving. That's no, not that a catch. Ball, I agree with Lewis. That ball's rolling into the end zone. That's going to be incomplete. We've had 133 ball plays tonight. After further review, the receiver lost possession of the ball when it hit the ground. The pass is incomplete. It will be first down kick at the previous spot.